Hello there and welcome to my collection video for my licensed CMFs. You all seem to really like when I went over my Lego CMFs, which are currently on the wall. Smith's display pending. Speaking of the wall, look how empty it looks. Now I've taken down my two cases and had to clear the two ends of the unit just to get to some of these minifigures. It definitely looks better with all the different Lego spread out across. So they will be going back after this video, but I've got one, two, three, four, five, six seven eight nine ten different licensed series of cmfs not all of which are complete some of them are some of them are only certain characters that me and my partner wanted to get which was a lot easier when you could just feel around the bag and pick up them one of the minifigures might not have gone as well but for the most part you're getting all the minifigures that you would like the qr code is a much more accurate way of doing that However, if Lego cotton on that we are able to access which minifigures are in the boxes, I'm not quite sure that this will be sticking around for too long. Anyway, let's get to the desk and I'll show you which minifigures from each of the 10 series we have. So as you can see laid out on my desk, first off, you don't really get a chance to see my desk mat, so it does look really nice. But there are no Star Wars CMS here, not yet at least. Hopefully one day in the future we can get a few star wars cmfs slotted in or perhaps i'll even make my own custom one especially with all the different padmades you can make using a lot of parts from these minifigures actually that reminds me that one minifigure will not be here and it will be the agatha harkness from season two of the marvel line and that is because i've taken the torso and the dress piece and used it to create a custom padme that i will show on screen for you right now but Besides that, every other minifigure is here, and that includes Nubs or Stitch from the Disney line. But we'll get to them in a second. I'm going to try and clear some space here because the first series we'll be looking at, a full complete series, is the Looney Tunes. And as you can see, I've got all 12 of the Looney Tunes here, and it's a great CMF line. We had to pick up all 12 of these minifigures. They look so cool. They've all got exclusive Actually, they do all have exclusive heads except for the Martian here who does have an exclusive helmet, but I'm afraid just uses a regular minifigure head. But you can see there's side of the leg printing. There's, I think there's no arm printing, but the bird does have the nice blue wings. And I'm not going to know many of the names for this. I am terrible with names, so... Do forgive me, of course we know Bugs, Lola, Taz and all the common ones, but for all of these minifigures, there's going to be some names that I mispronounce. You'll just have to sort of go with the flow, but this is definitely one of my favourite CMFs. It was such a good CMF to do, and now there's so many mocks of different scenes and everything we can create because we've got all of the Looney Tunes. I think this was also out around the time of the new Space Jam, so... It was cool to get all the figures from, I assume, that movie. I am still yet to watch it, but either way, I'm very happy I picked up all of the Looney Tunes. Now, the only other series that has come out that we've wanted all the figures for was Series 2 of the Harry Potter CMS. As you can see, they are all named characters from the Harry Potter franchise. I think the first series was half Harry Potter, half Fantastic Beasts, and they weren't as good as this i'm not going to say they weren't good minifigures but they definitely weren't as good as this series there's some outfits that we've never seen before in lego form and some minifigures like harry potter's parents here that i'm pretty sure we've never seen in any sort of minifigure form not just that outfit but the minifigures themselves it's one of the best gant dumbledore minifigures that we have got and even the accessories we've got the sword the gryffindor sword here which I think was the first time that we saw it. We've also got the Butterbeer, which if you've been to any of the Harry Potter studios, you'll know is quite a nice drink. We got a new coloured Mona Myrtle, which instead of grey, uses a cool blue piece that I think the head might glow in the dark. I'm not quite sure if it's the same as Nearly Headless Nick, but there's some great minifigures, some professors that I don't think we've seen, and... Again, just costumes that we haven't seen in Lego form before, and it's a great addition to our Harry Potter display. Now, these are actually stored separately to all the others, excluding these three minifigures, which I've just pulled off the Disney castle. We'll get to that in a second. All of these other minifigures are in my red display, which sits next to BD behind my giant 
macro figure of Captain Rex. Whereas these sit in the Harry Potter container, which is the other side of the unit, along with all the other Harry Potter sets. And if you would like to see our Lego Harry Potter minifigure collection, do let me know down in the comments below, because that definitely requires its own video. And perhaps we'll even take a closer look at some of these minifigures. Now, one of the much older CMFs, in fact, I think it might possibly be the oldest CMF here, is the Simpsons CMF. Now, I'm a casual fan of Simpsons, I guess. I do enjoy watching the odd episode, but I have no idea at most of the names. None of the back. I know Homer, I know Marge, and I know Maggie. You've got Santa's little helper. Yeah, that, that's me done pretty much. So they were the main ones I wanted. It would have been cool to get Bart as well, but I wasn't able to see many of these around when they were out. And likewise, all the different heads, similar to Looney Tunes, I just made sure I had as many different ones as I could. And they're pretty decent minifigures. Marge does have some sort of replacement arms because her arms that are white and orange Actually, I've got two Marges. One of them went to Commander Cody for the ATTE, and the other one went to my custom Ahsoka the White minifigure. So, even though I've got two of them, still no arms. I might have to order some replacement arms. But look at that dual molded and printed arms. And they are pretty older minifigures. I'm pretty sure it's the first series out of a lot of them. We've got some printed legs still rather than dual molded, but it's really nice to get a few of the dual molded arms. But. Again, as I said, there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of the minifigures because Santa's little helper was an accessory. I guess I'm probably only missing three of them and I might take a look and at some point buy them off Bricklink just to complete this minifigure collection. But for now, I think that's good enough. And actually, before we go over to Marvel, more custom head molds here, which is not something that ever goes, especially with the Disney line. We have the Muppets CMF collection, which again, as you can see, there's only five there. It would have been great to pick up all the Muppets, but these were running close to one of the others. I'm not quite sure if it was the first Marvel CMF line or what it was. But again, the Looney Tunes were really the only minifigures we picked up that year, similar to Harry Potter, similar to Simpsons. These were running alongside two other CMF series. It might have even just been the Lego one that we were collecting at the time. We didn't really have enough money to buy a full series. This will be a really good one alongside Simpsons and Looney Tunes to get the full series of because of all the different custom head molds, even the two at the back. They could have just given a Lego head, but they've gone all out, giving it a custom head mold and it would be a real cool series to collect all of. Now, as we move on to Marvel, I guess these are technically the most recent. I never remember if it's these or the Disney 100, but I'm pretty sure Marvel Season 2 is the most recent. We have Season 1 at the back there with Loki, Captain America, Vision, and the White Wolf, which is really cool. And then we have Season 2 at the front with the Knights, the Hawkeyes, I believe... This minifigure is called Jack or Jake. I really can't remember it. I had watched it just before I did a review or an unboxing of these minifigures. And actually, these were the first cardboard boxes, which were interesting because we didn't have QR codes. We only were able to sneak through the corners and catch a glimpse of one of the shiny pieces to identify the minifigure. That was a fun time. We also have Storm from the X-Men and Wolverine, which are really cool minifigures. I'll definitely be grabbing Beast on Bricklink again at some point when I order all these other minifigures and my other LEGO CMFs, which will most likely be later on in the year if I do manage to start it this year. I'll definitely be ordering the Beast, but as far as most of the other minifigures go, I'm not quite sure there are too many Marvel ones that I'm that interested in that I'll be part in them out or I guess if they're cheap enough I'll probably collect them but not paying any reasonable money for online however now we are on to the Disney minifigures this is the first series I'm pretty sure there's only been two at least so far because I'm sure there'll be a third actually no I think there was two series of Disney and then the Disney either way this is the first possibly first and second series and no, this is the second series because the first series included a few other minifigures. So I'm pretty sure this is the second series. You have to let me know. Stitch might have been in the first series. I really don't remember this. There are so many CMFs. 
So let's say Stitch was in the first series. I have added a Kenobi torso to him because he's currently a Nubs minifigure. We got Stitch in series two and I was able to take the head from the first series Stitch and use him to create a custom Nubs from the Young Jedi Adventures. So it's probably a minifigure that I'll end up picking up on Bricklink for the official Nubs minifigure and finding Stitch's torso, which is out there somewhere, adding it back to my Disney collection. But we also have a Steamboat Willie Mickey alongside two Hercules and two Nightmare Before Christmas minifigures. I'm not quite sure why my camera is not focusing, but if we can take a look, Hades is one of my favourite mini... Actually, Hades and Jack Skellington are my two favourite minifigures from this series. They are really cool minifigures. Even Sally's got so much detail and Hercules is... A pretty nice minifigure that I'm pretty sure we got a duplicate of when looking for the others. But there's some really nice minifigures and we've never got Hercules or Nightmare Before Christmas set. Hopefully we get a Nightmare Before Christmas idea set. That'd be really cool with the hill. But I'd want them to use different costumes to this. Perhaps update them at some point. Now I'm not really sure what can be updated. Door molded, side of the leg printed legs. Dual molded and printed arms. There's not really anything else that they can do for these minifigures. So it's really great. Perhaps towards Halloween, I'll end up making a mock with these two figures. And again, Hades is really great. It surprises me we haven't seen an Ursula built using this similar bottom piece. Unless we have and I've missed it. But I really think that's a good chance for Lego to make an Ursula minifigure. But as I said, that's not the final series of these Disney minifigures. Because we recently got the Disney 100 last year which doesn't really feel recent anymore. And we have picked up these three minifigures. We had to get Princess Tihana. We also had to get the brand new Stitch, the Experiment one, which comes with the same arms as Rio Durant from Star Wars. So it's nice to see they haven't thrown that mold away yet. And we've also got King Louie. I'm going to be honest, I don't really know the minifigure we were going for with King Louie. I'm not sure if I just picked up a random one at some point or we were going for someone and managed to pick up king louis my only thought could be we were going for the mysterious doctor from princess and the frog and somehow ended up with king louis i'm not sure how that works but nonetheless they are three really cool minifigures even king louis is a pretty cool minifigure so i'm happy we picked these up and these are usually hanging around the castle if you can zoom in on one of my older videos you will see that Stitch is crawling around the top of the castle by Tinkerbell and King Louie and Tiana are in some of the gaps around the castle. So if you can see that, that is pretty cool. And we also have some Lego Movie 2 CMFs, which I managed to pick up. I definitely wanted President Business in his golfing costume, so I'm happy I got that. And we've also got two other minifigures, which I guess... I just picked up at the time hoping to get President Business. So again, not probably a CMF I'll be completing anytime soon, but they are some decent minifigures and I'm really liking the fact that President Business has a outfit other than his Lord Business costume because that is a cool cameo for the second movie. Now, for the DC lines, there's been a few Lego Batman movies and all that. We only have the Joker and that is because it is a really nice white-suited Joker that actually would work pretty well for a kingpin costume and if i can get it into focus the joker's got a nice real big grin on him which is nothing too surprising there's no dual-sided head which would have been i mean what other expression can you really give the joker but it would have been quite nice to see and a lot of these minifigures have accessories that aren't with them right now because they've been sort of dotted around the collection and just the accessories are probably in a tub somewhere packed away but I'm very happy we've got two complete collections. Of course, the 12 minifigures is the newer one. 16 is the older CMFs. And I really like 12 because not only does it make the series cheaper from about £55 to 40 quid to collect the full series, but it's also a bit more easier for Lego to create the CMF rather than whacking in a bunch of extra figures. Don't get me wrong, the Harry Potter line was amazing, but especially when it comes to some of the casual CMFs, there are definitely a few minifigures that you could probably do without. So not only is it easier to display, but at the same time, you could probably drop four minifigures from most of the CMFs. Like if you only wanted the Harry Potter minifigures to fit in with a display, perhaps Harry's parents could be left out and Dumbledore is in a bunch of them. So is Harry, actually. I think we get this same minifigure with his zippy zipped down. So 
you could definitely cut away some minifigures here but i'm happy i got the foot two full series here and all the other minifigures dotted around from the other series of course if you haven't already check out my lego cmf collection because that is behind me for every video but that's only like the last five or so series i do have quite a few more and make sure you are subscribed may the bricks be with you always